go. All right. So let me get this stuff moved out of the way here a little bit better. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay, you guys. So here is the project that we're going to be creating. Now, what I mean by a craft disaster, because that's exactly what happened, as when I was working on it last night, I was deco you know, trying to decoupage, and I laid this piece down, this piece, and I ended up dumping the decoupage on my project, and it was just a mess. So, what is going to happen today, <laughs> because I had to start all over and try to get it fixed as best I could. Um, but, you know, I'm this way, what I did instead, and I'm still going to show you how to decoupage on the wood, but what I did instead was I glued these pieces down, the stamped images down, and then I just left it like that instead of running the decoupage over the top of it. Okay, so this is what we're working on, and I know that I'm rattling, so I hope you guys can understand and <laughs> keep up with me today because I'm a mess. But that's what we're doing. And, you know, it really is an easy project. It's just one of those things where, you know, uh, for me, I've never had anything like that where I, I've had many craft disasters, but I've never had one right before a live where I didn't get the project completely finished. But things happen, you know. So, all right, so let me put this off to the side. And then I'm going to show you. These are the fabulous stamps that I used from Darkroom Door. These birdhouses are just absolutely so adorable. I just, I absolutely love them. This uh, set here contains four birdhouses, and then, of course, the, the wood post down here for your birdhouses, okay? So, as I said, they are our sponsor today, and if you want to be entered in the uh, giveaway, they're going to be giving away a product package. And if you want to be involved in that, if you want a chance to win, then what you need to do is like, share, and comment my video today with hashtag Bella Crafts. And then also what I would love for you guys to do is to head over to um, Darkroom Door to their Facebook page and give them a like also and just you know if you can just put a little comment in there and just say thanks so much for sponsoring Bella Crafts because I say it all the time without our sponsors we wouldn't get to do half the fun stuff that we do so we want to make sure that we thank them so this is a stamp set and now we are going to get started okay as I showed you to begin with on this what you're going to need is this wood wall hanging, okay? Now, this is, I picked this up at Michael's. It was very inexpensive. And, you know, you can also use your coupons, your 40% coupons, and, you know, get, get it that way. But it was very inexpensive. Um, it measures 18 inches by 5, okay? And then the second piece, the second wood piece that we're going to be using in this is this little tiny birdhouse that I also got at Michael's, and I think it was like a dollar or something like that. It was um, just really inexpensive and absolutely adorable. I thought it was so, so cute. So this is the second wood piece that we're going to be working today. So what you want to do to get started is you want to take some white paint, and what you're going to do is you're going to create a wash, okay? And what I mean by that, if you don't know what I mean, is you take a paintbrush, you know, with your white paint, add some water and thin it out because you just want, you know, you don't want a whole lot of color on the project. So you want to paint it with a white wash, okay, and then set it aside until it dries. And then you want to add 
a coat of lavender paint and then paint your birdhouse. And then once you have these done and painted, then you want to, you know, you want to make sure that you let them dry. And then the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take some sandpaper and you're going to sand, okay? Because you want to make, you want to give this like a shabby sheet kind of look. So um, that way, that's why I said you want to use a wash and, you know, you don't have to worry about painting it really, really good because you're going to go back with some sandpaper and sand it down, okay? And then you're going to do the same thing with the birdhouse. Now, I think you guys can see on here. I know you probably can't see it here, but this is what I'm talking about by sanding it and just kind of giving it a little bit of a shabby chic look. Okay, so you're going to do that on both of the wood pieces, and then once you have that done, then you're ready to stand. All right, so let me move this out of the way. Now, what you're going to do then is you're going to stamp all of your images out. Okay, so these are the four birdhouses that I used in the project. And this one is the one that, that I'm going to decoupage today for you guys. And then also, you're also going to stamp out four of the posts. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to use a permanent black ink pad. Now, what I used was this ink pad from Gina K. Absolutely love it. But you want to make sure that your ink is a permanent ink, okay, guys? Because that's very important. And let me tell you right now, if you don't know that your ink is permanent or not, then what you want to do is you want to test it first. Okay, so what I did was I stamped all my images out and then I colored them and then I sprayed them with an adhesive, or not an adhesive, a sealer. Okay, so I put a sealer on top of all of my stamped images. So what you want to do then is just test your paper. So you want to stamp on the copy paper because this is just a thin copy paper. You're going to stamp on that and then go ahead and color it and spray it and then take your decoupage and run it over just a little bit of it to make sure that your ink is not going to run. Okay, that's very, very important. So you want to make sure that your ink doesn't run. All right, so we've got our images stamped, as I said, with the black ink pad, black permanent ink, and we're going to color them. I colored mine with chalk pencils, of course, because that's what I always use. So you're going to color them all, and then you're going to uh, seal them with a, with a spray sealer. And then you're going to cut everything out, okay? And cut all of your little images out. And then now, once you do that, and you can see here what I did with this one, I took all of my stamped images that I had, and before I started decoupaging on them, what I did was I laid everything out on my wall while hanging first. I wanted to make sure that everything was going to fit. I wanted to, you know, get it just how I wanted it before I started decoupaging and laying it down. Now, I can't remember if I said before, but I used a just a regular white copy paper on these. Okay? Just a regular white copy paper. Now, when you're working with copy paper and decoupage, you want to work quickly because if you don't it's going to dry before you even you know get it finished and then it's just a mess all right so there's some tips for you there okay so what i did as i said is i laid everything out then once i laid everything out in the way that i wanted it then i removed everything again and then it was time to start decoupaging okay so this is what i used this is the decoupage, okay, and I'm going to take this off right now. Okay, there we go. Okay, so 
what you're going to do, and as I said, you're going to need to work quickly. Okay, so I'm going to do this facing me uh, because it will be easier for me. All right, so I want my birdhouse right about there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by adding a little bit of the decoupage to the back of my stamped image here. Now, I'm not going to do all of it at first, okay? I'm just going to do a little bit first, and then I'm going to lay it down right where I want it and smooth it out, okay? And then I'm going to go back in and finish the back part of this, okay? So we're going to just add the decoupage. to the back here and lay that down. Okay. And then once you know that it's it's down and it's good, then you're ready to move on to your second stamped image and then so on. Okay. So once you have all of your images down, then what you're going to do is create, and I'm going to show you again, the little sign that I made for this, I just made it on my computer. Okay, nothing fancy, just made it on my computer. And then I went ahead and I uh, matted it with the purple cardstock. And then, of course, I did the same thing that I just showed you. I started on the back and I laid that down with the decoupage. Okay. And then what you're going to do, once you have everything laid down like this, then you're going to take your decoupage medium and you're going to cover the whole thing. Now, that is the part that I did not get a chance to do. Okay. So, it, this is for me, if you're new to stamping with, you know, uh, working with wood or something, you know, something like that. If you're a little apprehensive about it, this is the perfect way to get started. Because if you mess up, you can just scrape it off and, you know, and start again. Because if you're using regular, like I showed you guys last week when I did, when I stamped on the wood to make the earrings, you know, when you stamp on the wood, if you don't get the image just perfect or whatever, then you're going to have issues and, you know. So if you, this is just another alternative way to use wood in your, pro, in your projects without actually stamping directly on the wood. It is perfect for beginners that have not stamped on anything uh, wood, okay. It's, it's a perfect way to start. And then that way, too, if, you know, if you like it, then, you know, you can continue to do your projects because once you decoupage these and you have it all done like this, you can't tell that you didn't stamp on directly onto the wood. Okay, so that's what we did here. And let me move this back out of the way again. Now, to finish up the project, what I did was I had I had some really cute birds that I thought were just absolutely adorable. So I took my birdhouse, and then what I did was I glued a dowel to the back of it, okay? And then that is going to go, as you can see here, right in the middle, and you just glue it down. Now, let me give you another tip when you're working with wood um, and you want to adhere something, you know, uh, like these flowers and stuff. If you use a hot glue gun, okay, you have to make sure that, now this was perfect to use a hot glue gun on for the simple fact that I had it sanded down to give it the, sh the shabby chic look. So that way, when I went to glue, to adhere this all down with a glue gun, 
it's it's stuck. But if you have problems and you you know it's your it's not sticking your flowers or your ivy or whatever you're using is not sticking to your wood because that will happen sometimes when you're working with a finished wood then what you can use is the E6000 and this is perfect to adhere your your um stuff to your wood now what i did on my project here was I just took some ivy pieces like this and I did use a glue gun, but I worked very quickly. And to cover, here's another tip for you, to cover those spots where your glue, you know, where you're adhering your ivy and your flowers, to cover those up, or when you're, when you're doing your, your ivy, I should say, when you want to cover that glue up, then you just take these little tiny flowers here and attach those on top and then you just you can't see any of the glue when you're using a hot glue okay so that's how you finish it out let me move this out of the way again all right i'm sorry that i did not get to show you guys the whole thing you know start to finish but i know that you know you guys will still still get the idea that i'm trying to do here so as i said when you're done you glue your glue house your birdhouse down add your ivy and your flowers to the top of it add your little birds and then take some trim or ribbon here there's hangers on the back and just tie some trim onto that or ribbon or whatever uh, twine whatever you want to use and then that's for your wall hanging and then again add a little flower right there in the front of your birdhouse right there on the in the front and center now this i think is something that birds are going to want to come and hang out in right <laughs> All right, I know this was a quick project, you guys, because I didn't get to finish all of it. But you get the idea. A dark room door with these stamps, it just, it just made a beautiful wall hanging, and I absolutely loved it. And I know that you guys will love their stamps, too, so I really want you to go check them out. Okay? All right. So let me switch cameras once again. Okay. There. Oh, nope. There we go. Okay. All right. So you kind of get the gist of what I was saying, right? <laughs> I know this was a little a little rattled project that I'm doing here. I can't even move my chair. But how it came out even though I did not go ahead and decoupage all of this on, again, if you make a boo-boo on something, you know, and when you're crafting, just try your best to figure out how you can work around it. And that's exactly what I did for this. I had to, st had to start completely from the beginning, and I did not have time to get it all finished for you guys, but you still get the idea. And... I just want to stress that if you do make a boo-boo, try to fix it. it. It's not going to be the end of the world. Now, if somebody would have been here at 3 a.m. this morning to tell me that, you know, I probably would have been happier this morning. <laughs> but that didn't happen. So I am sharing my craft fails with you guys. But I absolutely love this project. It is a perfect little wall hanging you know, for your house. It would be perfect um, for a housewarming gift or something like that. Um, and I hope that you guys make one. I really, really do. So let me grab my phone here real quick and see. Okay, let me see if there is any questions or anything i will look after just to make sure and beth thank you so much for putting links in for me 
I appreciate it. Okay. Yes, Beth. Yes, 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 yes. Why? Okay, so Beth answered this for me because Rebecca asked, why use copy paper versus cardstock? And Beth answered, and what she said was absolutely right on. Copy paper is thinner, so it makes it uh, easier to adhere to uh, whatever you're you're adhering it to. Um, in this case, to the wood plaque when you're decoupaging it, you know, copy paper is thinner, so you can get it down and get it on there, and it it goes much easier than if you use a regular cardstock. So Beth, thank you so much for answering that. I appreciate it. I will look to see if there's anything else when I'm done. But I don't see anything right off the top of my or right off the top of my camera here, my phone here. I don't see any other questions. Okay, but I will look to make sure that if you guys have questions, I'll, I'll make sure that I answer them, especially since I kind of rushed through this and was not probably one of my best lives. But, you know, everybody has those kind of days. Today was mine. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the project. Remember, if you want to be entered in the giveaway for Darkroom Door, remember to like, comment, and share my video here, hashtag Bella Crafts, okay? And again, if you have not subscribed to the summer issue of Bella, I know that Beth put the link in for me. You want to head on over there and sign up, you know, head over to our website and sign up for the magazine because it's absolutely free. It doesn't cost you anything. You don't have to do anything other than plug your email address in. And then every time a new issue comes out, then it will go directly into your inbox. And then the other thing that I wanted to share also is um, Team Creative Crafts. We do a um, weekly link party. And this is, I believe, week number 51. Uh, so if you want to check that out, it's on our blog. And what you can do is you can link your projects to the blog and then the girls figure out which ones that they want. And it's a whole thing. So make sure that you check that out also. Okay. Um, Beth, I'm not sure if I think I put a link in there for that. I'm not sure, but you can find all the information on the Bella Craft Publishing website, okay? All right, you guys, that is it for me today. I hope that you enjoyed the project. Again, if you make a boo-boo, do your best to try to fix it. Don't, you know, don't fuss about it and, you know, make yourself crazy. It's not worth it, okay? So I want to um, let you guys know Next week, we will be back again, but I am not doing a live at 10. We're going to be doing an interview next week. I can't tell you with who yet, but we're going to be doing an interview next week, and that's going to be at 2 p.m. Central Time when Anne usually does her live, okay? So no live next week at, a, at noon Central, but at 2, we're doing an interview, so we would love for you guys to join us for that. Okay. All right. I think we're good. Oh, good. Okay. So Beth put the information in about the linky party. Make sure that you guys check that out. And I will see you all next week. Yeah. Next week, 2 p.m. Central Time. We will be here doing an interview. We would love for you to join us. Until then, you guys have a fabulous week. We will see you all then. And once again, don't forget to take some time to craft because it's good for your soul. It really is. All right, everybody, you take care. Have an awesome week. And I will see you next week. Bye.